In my last video, I introduced the idea of building blocks in Sketchlist 3D. And that is that rather than work as CAD systems do, for example, SketchUp, on a line by line or shape by shape, where shapes are squares and rectangles, and putting your design together at that extreme level of detail. With Sketchlist 3D, you use building blocks. In the Sketchlist scheme, the board is the lowest level building block. And you make, for example, this design by inserting these boards, by setting their sizes, and entering their locations in relationship to one another, and create the design. Now, this video is going to go a step further. I'm going to create this design using our cabinet wizard, which is the next step up in the building block idea. It's more comprehensive than a board. A building block designed in cabinet wizard contains boards in a related fashion and gives you and gives you control over the sizes of materials and clearances and such. In Sketchless 3D, the cabinet wizard is the next step up or more comprehensive approach to building blocks. You receive four basic models from which you can create just about anything that you require for your workshop. I'm going to start with the, the box with the shelf and select that and the cabinet wizard form opens. I want to set the assembly size and I'm going to make this uh, as close as I can to the to the existing one. So I'll say 48 inches wide, 12 inches deep. Other information are parameters for adjusting for a toe kick. So I had a four inch toe kick. The lower board moves up to accommodate that. If I wanted to have other adjustments that I want the front of this to go back two inches in this case, where I might put in a face frame and put in um, a molding, for example, around the front, but I'll put that back. So these are examples of how you control or, or have control over the detail of the design. So in this case, for example, I can say that the backboard thickness is a quarter of an inch, like that. And you didn't notice that it happened so quickly, but the quarter inch, not only did that change the thickness of this backboard material, but it adjusted the shelving accordingly, the, the middle shelf, and changed its depth by one half inch, which was the adjustment made to the backboard. Now, if I add to the project, you see that there's my, my bookcase. Now what I can do is I can continue to add on to that. I'm going to change a template, and I want to put a frame on set the overall size of the frame. The height is 36, which is that of the, you know, of the thing that I'm reproducing. The width is 48. And in this case, the depth of the frame is 3 quarters. The width is 48, like that. I can go in here and say, the styles, the width of the style, say three inches, and the height of the rails might be two inches, whatever your design requ requires. Now, this frame is actually a, a separate assembly. Because I want to include that on that bookcase, I'm going to merge it into the bookcase. So I pick merge, and this is the one that I'm using. That's the one that I hid. Go like that. And there it is. 
So I can close this spreadsheet. If I go to the bottom board, that board, I notice its top value is five and a quarter. So first thing I want to do is change that and title it frame because I use a, a door container to organize those boards. And all I want to do here is say the bottom is going to be three and a quarter because that's the five and a quarter minus the, the two inches of the bottom rail. So I'll do that. And there we go. I notice here that the front of that sideboard is one and a half. So this is just plain old sketch list now. The back of the, the frame is one and a half. Moving it back this way. And I've got the uh, the bookcase design. As always, this is a, a starting point. So I can hide that frame and, for example, take this board, move its, change its width to, uh, or set the right value at 24, clicking width like that. I can take this board, clone it, now take that cloned board, make its left value 24 like this, make its top value 35 and a quarter to accommodate the thickness of that top piece. Down here, let me just check. The top of that is five and a quarter. The bottom of this is five and a quarter and adjusting the height. Put the frame back on and you, you see that. And that is the use of Cabinet Wizard in Sketchlist as a way to add and create building blocks on a larger scale.